The following is a fan-made nonprofit parody, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, is owned by Hasbro and DHX Media. This disclaimer probably doesn't offer any real protection in any legal sense, but hey, maybe whoever's behind the curtain at YouTube might watch our video and see this and decide to go easy on us. Oh, Fluttershy, I just wanted to once again thank you for freeing me from my stone prison. I felt like a real stiff in there. <laughs> it was no bother, really. I had a free moment and I thought, oh, why not? Resurrecting monsters is kind of a thing I do. <laughs> oh, how I wish I could be evil as effortlessly as you do. Honestly, what is your secret? Oh, there's really not much to it. Honest. I mean, look at this body. I have recurring evil nemesis written all over me. It's been six months and still no nobody takes me seriously. Well, what evil things have you done so far? Well, I removed the burning moon from the middle of the town, I got rid of that tentacle monster that was attacking people, and I fixed all the wood because it kind of looked like you guys had parasprites a while back or something. I also picked up a lot of trash and litter off the ground. I did so many crazy things that are contradictory to this world as I understand it. Um, that doesn't sound evil. Just do what's naturally evil to you. You're too self-conscious. Oh, I'm trying my best and I'll never be as not good as Fluttershy. Woe is me. Oh, I'm sure you're just being modest. You must have done all kinds of dastardly things to get sealed away in stone for thousands of years. Well, oh, but I did that. Part of my greatest stunt as an escape artist. I'm an evil magician, after all. That's why I always wear a cape. The D stands for disorganized. Well, the good news is the Day of Retribution is coming soon. This weekend, in fact, at the Grand Galloping Gala. Oh? You've never heard of the Grand Galloping Gala? Oh, it's so amazing, Discord. The first time I was invited, I spent the whole time in the beautiful celestial garden playing with all the cute and fuzzy animals. Ah. As part of some arcane ritual, I assume. Oh, no, it was just for fun. I have hobbies, you know. But this year, I think I'm just going to chill inside with a friend. Once you've seen one animal, you've kind of seen them all. A friend, eh? Can your old pal Discord come along? Um, well, sorry, Discord, but I actually already used my plus one on my friend, Occult Girl 37 We met through a website that helps cults find each other. Oh, I think I've heard of that site. Isn't it called Grinder? You're thinking of a different kind of cult. So, you're telling me you're going to travel hundreds of miles to meet someone you've only ever met online? Yeah, but I don't see why that would be a problem. Well, who am I to judge? We've actually been planning this for a long time. The gala will be the perfect place to stage one of our blood rituals and finally resurrect the great Lord Smooze. Smooze? Oh, what's that, Twilight? You want me to go with you to the gala? Well, of course I consider you my best friend. And you want me to perform a duet with special musical guest BBBFF? This is going to be the best night ever! Why, this almost seems as if it were some kind of dream. Even so, as long as I'm not violently awakened from my fantasy, I can finally be happy. Ah! Whoops, wrong house. I can't wait to sell my delicious apple sweets and raise money to replace my granny's hip. I can't wait to meet a blue-blooded prince who will take me away from my boring life. I can't wait for anything at all. The doctors call it ADHD. I call it RDHD because my name is Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash High Definition. Does any pony here have a plus one to the Grand Galloping Gala? I'm afraid I already gave my plus one to T Rex. He was just here two minutes ago. And I traded my plus one for some magical beans. I ate mine. No oh, poo. I wonder who that was. Wow, that was so cool! What? Uh, 
but I'm dressed as a villain from the entirely wrong game. Isn't that terribly chaotic of me? Hmm? Discord, Shadow the Hedgehog isn't a villain. He's an anti-hero. Ugh, stupid Discord. Fluttershy would have never made such a careless mistake. Anyway, Discord, I'm so glad you came. Life is tough when you're a single mother without any friends or family. Hey, weird question. Have you ever wanted something so bad that you would sacrifice anything? And then when you finally end up getting what you want, it wasn't what you expected? And there's still a hole in your heart that can seemingly never be filled? Wow, I guess I have a lot on my mind. Hey, Discord, I'm glad you're here to talk to. We should hang out more. Hey, maybe you could be my plus one to the gala. <laughs> I can't go to the gala. I might as well start building that birdhouse I got. I think it's up in the closet somewhere. Well, let's see. I should have all the materials I need to construct the birdhouse. Except, drat! I don't have any glue. Is it too late to go to the store and buy some? Oh, maybe I have some somewhere. You know what? Forget the birdhouse. Parties. We're at the Grand Galloping Gala. It was a pleasure helping you plan this year's Grand Galloping Gala, Princess Celestia. Ah! Twilight! How long have you been standing there? Please don't sneak up on me like that. Whoops. Anyway, it was a pleasure helping you plan this year's Grand Galloping Gala. Oh, I don't recall asking for your help this year, Twilight. What exactly have you done? It's a secret. You'll see. Don't tell me it's another one of your murder mysteries. Nope. It's a murder mystery. Hey, uh, wait a second. What happened to that very important diplomatic mission I sent you on? Oh, you mean the high school thing? I'm still on that mission. I just didn't want to miss the gala, so I came back. Hello, every pony. I'd like you all to meet my longtime pal, Jeff the Blob. Say hi, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff has always been shy in front of strangers. I'm trying to help him come out of his shell, or in this case, ectoplasm. The waterfall's energy was just so righteous, and I never would have seen it if I hadn't blown up that dam. That's such a beautiful story. I'm glad I found someone I can connect with so well. Oh no, there's Fluttershy. I've got to make a good, bad first impression on her. But what? I know, I'll walk right up to her and interrupt her conversation. That's really evil. I just can't believe that tonight I'll finally get to meet Lord Smooze. Only a few more pieces need to be- Fluttershy, look, it's me, good old Discord. Care to introduce me to your friend? Oh, um, hi. This is Occult Girl 37. I told you about her earlier. You can just call me Ouija if you want. That's my IRL name. And Ouija, this is Discord. I kind of just met him. I don't know him very well. Fluttershy and I are extremely good friends. Nice. Fluttershy and I were just talking about Lord Smooze and the- Oh? A resurrection? Sounds like an evil mastermind, such as myself would be a, the perfect accomplice to this chicanery. Tell me more about this Lord Smooze. Well, he's a big blob of ooze, and the only other concrete fact I know about him is that he's purple. Sounds like my kind of fellow. So, um, who's your friend, Discord? Well, I'd call him more of a sidekick than a friend. His name is Jeff the Blob. I found him on this neat site called Craigslist, since I needed a plus one for the party. He's a big blob of ooze, and the only other concrete fact I know about him is that he's green. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Jeff. 
It's always really great to meet new nefarious characters. And it looks like you've got a good look. Really? You think I've got a good look? Here, why don't you take my card? There isn't really any, anything up on my website yet, but keep an eye out. I'm getting a lot of new projects going on right now. Do you have a Facebook? I can add you on it right now. I, uh, I don't really use it that much. Okay. Follow me on Twitter then. I can DM you. I guess I'll see you around then. Text me when that smooth thing starts. Oh, hey, Discord. You came after all. I hope I wasn't a drag earlier. I don't want you to think I'm not crazy and fun. I like candy. You never know what I'll do. Not me. Not old Pinkie Pie. Running around, making cakes, doing chaotic things that disrupt ordinary life. Can we talk sometime? Would that be okay? <laughs> Hey, who's that silly looking dragon on the dance floor? The one who looks like a crime against nature. I thought his name was Spike. Spike's not even here. I mean the tall one. I've got a bad feeling about that guy. Hmm, he looks mighty familiar, like I've seen him before. Wasn't he Mushu and Mulan? He was, wasn't he? The little red dragon who didn't do that tongue thing. <laughs> I reckon that's him. Well, whoever he is, we should have the elements of harmony ready, just in case. Where did Rainbow Dash go? Right here, Twy! Oh. Well, where's Rarity? Here I am, darling, and I already found that prince of mine. My name is Steel Blitz! All right, where's Pinkie Pie? Great, now all we need to do is find our adorable and harmless friend Fluttershy, and we'll be ready to combat any forces of evil that rear their ugly head. like toothpaste from a tube. The gala is fun! Oh my, if I ever hope to impress my new evil crew, I'm going to have to draw more attention to myself. <laughs> Time to cause some panic at this disco! Whammo! Shloom! k k k -koo. Now what do I do? Uh, where'd Jeff go? Jeff? I know. I'll disrupt the scheduled programming by performing my open mic comedy routine. That should cause calamity for the production staff of this event. <laughs> Ooh! I just flew in from Ponyville and boy are my arms tired. So you'll have to excuse me if I don't lift my arms for the duration of my routine, as they are incredibly weak at the moment, and leaving them hanging limply at my sides is really the only way for me to avoid discomfort. Uh, you'll just have to allow my jokes to carry themselves on the salience of my humor without the aid of zany or exuberant gestures from my arms or hands. So how about that Kim Kardashian, eh? She's something. You guys ever noticed that whenever you go to build your birdhouse, you don't got any glue? <laughs> Why is it, is it that you never have enough material? You certainly don't have enough material. <laughs> Discord? Talk about eye candy!
Princess Celestia is dead! She was discovered poisoned in the billiard room. But who could have done such a thing? To get to the bottom of this, we'll have to follow a series of clues. Did somebody say clues? Perhaps I can be of service. My name is Sir Clop Pones, the world's greatest horse detective. I am here to solve this mystery. You win every week, Sir Clop. You're disqualified. Being the world's greatest horse detective is my gift and my curse. Now, the only thing we have is the killer's shoe. If we can find the trail he left behind, we'll find the killer. Success! Wait, I am a fearsome villain. Why should I solve a mystery when I can create a new one? But wait, how will every pony know that it was I who ruined their carefully constructed plans? I know. I shall wait at the end of the new trail and gloat when they arrive. Psst! Hey, Twilight! Mind giving me a hint as to just who this killer might be? I'm as confused as a rattlesnake in a washing machine. I'm afraid I couldn't if I wanted to, Applejack. I took a pill to wipe my own memory of the killer's identity. I wanted to see if my detective mind could outsmart the only nemesis as clever as me, myself. You know who I haven't seen all night? Fluttershy. She and I were so close back when we were doing that smooth thing together. I wonder what ever happened to that. Do you think she replaced me? And I haven't seen Discord in a while. He's my best friend. And I haven't seen Jeff the Blob in a while. Actually, I've never seen him. I never even learned his name. Why would a killer be a leave behind a shoe? Hold on, girls. I see something. window, the gate will be opened, freeing Lord Smooze. I'm glad we've reiterated this point to ourselves constantly throughout these last 45 minutes. It's really helped smooth over what would have otherwise been a very slow and tedious part of the evening. Don't you mean smooze over? Oh, Fluttershy, there's no pony as funny as you. Here it comes. <laughs> right now, nothing can stop the smooze. Oh, Fluttershy! I had wondered where you'd gone. We must have gotten separated somehow. Do you not have my phone number? This is why we need each other's phone numbers. Wait, Discord, no pony else saw you come out here, did they? Any pony that might have followed you? Well... Answer the question, Discord! Well, well, well. Huh. Looks like I've planted a clever red herring to throw myself off the case. Nice try, Twilight Sparkle. Girls, let's get out of here. Guess again, Twilight Sparkle, my nemesis. Twas I, Discord, Lord of Chaos. I moved your clues completely off their course, ruining your murder mystery. <laughs> None of this has anything to do with your plans. Then, wait, what is all this? Well, I ain't no shirt clock pawns, but it looks to me like this is some sort of arcane blood ritual to resurrect an otherworldly monster. What? Well, this isn't allowed. Who's responsible for this? Well, it wasn't me. Um, well, there's only one person I can think of who would be evil enough and powerful enough to resurrect an ancient monster. Discord! Wait, what? You really mean that, Fluttershy? Yes. Yes, Discord. I really do. Oh, I'm so happy I could giggle and dance all night! 
Junior detectives, arrest this evil beast! You think you've won? Guess again! Because I, Discord, God of Chaos, and Twilight Sparkle's arch nemesis will return. With this money, I can replace every bone in Granny's body, and even some of Apple Bloom's. I had the most enchanted time with you, Steel Blitz. Granny, will you marry me? <gasps> yes! guys. Even though we didn't resurrect our evil leader, we had fun, and that's what's important. We can always try again next year. You know, the ritual didn't look like it was working even a little, and this is my fourth unsuccessful attempt to bring Smooze back. I'm usually very good at this. Maybe, maybe Smooze is just a myth after all. But you know what's real? Our friendship. You did a great job hiding in your room all night, Princess. It definitely helped lend some authenticity to my murder mystery. I must admit, I was pretty shocked when I came downstairs and saw everyone calm and collected. I was honestly expecting some terrible thing to happen this year. Chaos and calamity, for example. I was also very skeptical about your murder mystery, but having examined the scene in the conservatory, I'm rather impressed at your forensic detail, Twilight. Yeah, I'm pretty smart. It was pretty complex how you arranged the brushstrokes on the pentagram to imply two culprits instead of one. The way that the Latin handwriting on the wall implied a female culprit was also very clever. I also liked how the key to the conservatory was discovered alongside a piece of pink hair. The subtle attention to detail was outstanding. If only I were there to see how the whole thing went down. Hey, you know what they say about Twilight Sparkle? I am smart. Well, against all odds, this evening went off without a hitch. Yeah, it's just a shame Spike didn't come. He was supposed to be my plus one. I was gonna have him perform live on stage with pop band BBBFF and everything. Oh, Cakey, my new best friend is gone. But what right do I have to complain? What's wrong with me? All my dreams have come true. So why aren't I happy? That's the best part. You've got to find a new dream. Why don't we get out of here? We can find some place to talk. Well, I guess that just goes to show you, kids. When you smooze, you lose. changes lives.